you should calibrate the cutometer probe once a week just to make sure that it's functioning properly. Um, one thing I want to mention before we start is that the cutometer probe is very sensitive. Um, it has a diamond and a laser inside of it, so any sudden movements or if you drop it, it could, it could damage the probe. So keep the probe very safe. You want to make sure you turn the system off when you're done using it. And you also want to make sure you're calibrating it and keeping it clean. Okay. So to calibrate, you're going to go to measurement, check calibration, and follow the instructions on the screen. Essentially, what you'll do is you'll take the lid off. You're going to clean the probe very carefully with this special brush that comes with the cutometer. Okay, you're going to place the brush inside of the hole. Just gently turn it three to four times. Okay, this will help clean out all the oils inside of the probe. Okay, as soon as you do that, you're going to put the probe on the flat side of the check calibration cap. This is the check calibration cap, okay? You're going to put the flat side here on the probe, and you're going to hold it down, okay? You're going to keep pressure on there. Hit the start button, and you're going to wait for it to calibrate. Okay, as soon as it's done calibrating, you're going to compare the displayed measurement value with the value on the A cap or that it's on the cap and it's under the letter A. So the calibration value is 106. So I look at my, cal my calibration cap and it says for letter A I should be within 0 to 200. So since I'm at 106 I'm calibrated properly. Okay, for the second part of the calibration is um, you're going to put the cap tightly onto the probe. So instead of before you had it turned over, now you're going to actually put it on top of the probe and you're going to push down, push the start button, turn the cap one full rotation while it's calibrating. Okay, as soon as it's done, you're going to again compare the calibration value on the screen with that on the probe for letter B. So our calibration value was 498 and we should be within 470 to 530, so we're calibrated properly. Okay, so if you're not calibrating within range on either one of those steps, first you should try to clean the probe two or three more times and calibrate after each cleaning. If you're still not calibrating after each cleaning, then you can just call PhysioAge and we'll help you uh, troubleshoot your issue.